Hi, I'm Alan Tetro with Global Sugar Art, and today I'd like to spend a few minutes showing you how to make some very easy Halloween chocolate lollipops. We're going to begin today by using the Merkins candy uh, chocolate. Now, this is a candy coating, and I have the Merkins orange coating here, and then this is the Clausen, which is a different brand of black coating. Um, my favorites are the Merkins. They don't make a black, but they do make orange, they make dark chocolate, and they make milk chocolate, white, and then a several other colors, greens, um, pinks, violets, yellows. Uh, but these are my favorite chocolates to work with. So to begin with, I've poured some of the chocolate wafers in a microwavable bowl. And I'm going to microwave this chocolate uh, while I talk about the molds. And I'm going to microwave this chocolate at 50% power for about one minute to begin with. Make sure you don't use more than 50% power on your chocolate. So I'm just going to place that in the microwave. Okay, while that is melting, I want to talk to you briefly about the molds. We have dozens of different Halloween molds, both for individual pieces like these pumpkins and for lollipops, and you can see the place here that you would place the lollipop stick. Now, you can pour them exactly as they are with no uh, definition on the eyes and the nose, or you can accent them by what we call painting them ahead of time with chocolate. The easiest way is to melt a little bit of chocolate, of colored chocolate that you want, and then using a small paintbrush, you just paint in the chocolate. The other way of doing it is using a candy writer. And these are candy writers right here. And these are actually the Merkins chocolate that has been put in tubes. So when you purchase the tube, you'll have to snip off the end and then put these in a cup of very, very hot water for about three to five minutes, not boiling water. If you overheat any chocolate, it becomes very stiff and hard to work with. So I recommend putting it in a cup of water and then every minute or two just knead it until it becomes very soft and pliable. And the candy writers also come in many, many different um, uh, colors. So let's put these aside. Now I've prepared my mold by washing it first just in very hot water and then using a very soft cotton towel like a, a flour sack towel and buffing these really really well. The importance of buffing cannot be uh, over exaggerated. If you have a nicely buffed dry mold you'll get a nice shiny piece of chocolate out of it. If the mold has spots or any water residue you're going to get a dull lifeless looking piece of candy out of it. So I have some green all melted and I wanted to show you if I want to uh, do the same thing I did on this one with a little green chocolate, I can just squeeze that in there. And for a large piece like this, that's all I have to do. I don't have to use a brush. But if I really wanted to get into very small details, like the eyes on this cat, I would probably squeeze a little bit of chocolate in there and then use a little brush to brush it over the area that I wanted to cover. Now, once you've done the candy writing or the candy painting, these can go in the refrigerator, not the freezer, only the refrigerator. If you put them in a freezer, when you take them out, these, uh, these small candy pieces will crack. So don't do anything colder than the refrigerator for the painting parts. So that takes care of how to paint a mold. And now we have some chocolate ready. Okay, and this chocolate is going to need a little bit more microwaving, I can see that. You can see how it's still a little bit solid. So I'm going to put this back, I'll set that right there, I'm going to put this back in the microwave. And again that's at 50% power for about one minute. I have some orange chocolate all melted and ready to go. So I'll show you how to do 
some of the basic things here. These are little candy bites, they call them. They're just little individual candies. And I'm just going to spoon some of the melted chocolate right into the mold. And just so that you can see both the painted and the unpainted, I'll do some of both. And when you have a little stem like this, you can use your paintbrush to push it right up into the stem. And we can do one more. And I hear our other chocolate is ready. Okay. We can use a paper towel. If you've drizzled any chocolate around the edge, you can just lift that up. Now you want to get the air bubbles out of this. So what you do is you pick it up about four or five inches and you just drop it. And just drop it three or four times and sometimes you'll, you can see little teeny air bubbles just popping out. And when you don't see any more air bubbles, then it's ready to go into the freezer. So let's put that one aside and we'll do one of the larger lollipops. Now I have my lollipop sticks nearby, ready, ready to put in afterwards. And that's gonna, this, this is a big lollipop. There are different sizes. This is a good size one. Okay, you wanna be careful not to overfill it. Drop that a couple times. Get the air bubbles out. Then I'm gonna take a lollipop stick I'm going to place that in and then I'm going to turn it so that the chocolate is completely enrobed around that lollipop stick. And again, if you have any little drips, you can just clean those up before it goes into the freezer. And let's see, we'll do a couple of these. All right. Again, drop it and a lollipop stick put the stick in just give it a twirl until it's completely covered just clean off any little dribbles and that one's ready to go and let's see if our chocolate is ready. And here is our dark chocolate I'm just going to stir that until it's completely melted now you'll notice there are some little lumps in there, which is unmelted chocolate, and that's what you want. You don't want to heat it so hot that it completely melts it. You want to be able to finish melting it by stirring it. And I'm going to put that in the cat mold here. I'm just going to use the brush to sort of push that chocolate over into the ears so I don't get it all over the outside. There you go. And that's going to be the two cats. And we'll drop those. And then we'll add the lollipop sticks, just like we did the other ones. Just give them a little twirl. And that's all there is to creating your own ha um, Halloween candies. Now I'm going to put these in the freezer. I'm going to make sure that they're level so the chocolate doesn't pour out. And these will take about five to ten minutes to set up. You can tell when they're ready when the back of the chocolate feels cold to your fingertips. So I'm going to move these over to the freezer now and we'll be right back and show you how to unmold them and finish them. Okay, we're back. I've had the chocolates in the freezer for about five to ten minutes. The very large pumpkin took a little bit longer to chill down uh, than the small pieces. But I've, I've actually I've just felt the back of them and when they feel cold they'll be ready. Now one of the things I just want to briefly mention, we sell these uh, cotton uh, candy makers gloves and they come as a pair. I only need one on right now. But when you're inverting your chocolate and you're handling it and you're packaging it, if you touch it with your bare hands, the heat from your hand will leave fingerprints on your nice shiny chocolate. 
That doesn't happen if you have a glove on. So that's why I've got a cotton glove on. So we'll go right down here. These are the chocolate uh, pumpkins that we did first. And all I do to get those out is invert them and give a little tap. And you can see how they pop right out. These are great to put in little bags together, maybe with some little bats and ghosts and skulls or whatever chocolate pieces you want to make to make little trick-or-treat bags. This was the small lollipop and you can see how easily that pops right out and you can see the shine on there. Buffing the mold makes a big difference and the painting was done with a little bit of black chocolate ahead of time. And here come the cats. <clears throat> And again, you can see the beautiful shine on that. This is the dark chocolate that I used on that one. And then lastly is the big lollipop. You can see how easily these pop out. They're, the chocolate lollipops are probably one of the easiest things to make. We did the stem with a little bit of milk chocolate and green, and then the eyes and the mouth with a little bit of dark chocolate and a paintbrush. So now to package these, we have little cellophane bags and you can just put them in the bag and we have all sorts of twist ties and twist bands and you can just put a little band on it. I guess I can get rid of the gloves now, I don't need them anymore. Let's take that off. And then you can package them up with little bows, ribbons, however you want just to sort of dress them up for the holiday. This is just a few ideas. So just to go up over everything briefly, I use the candy writers, or if you purchase bulk, like one pound packages of colored chocolate, you can use those for painting. But the candy writers offer you a large variety of colors and you only have to buy a small amount. The molds are available online and we have many different lollipop molds as well as molds for the small pieces of chocolate like I have here. And then we have the Merkins chocolate. Uh, we have orange, we have the dark chocolate, the light chocolate, we have white, uh, then we have the Clausen black chocolate which we bring in just for Halloween. Uh, we have a bat mold and you can make the eyes red on it and it makes a really nice spooky Halloween treat. And then we use the cotton gloves. And lastly, before I go, I just want to introduce you to a DVD that I made two years ago called Simply Chocolate. And this DVD is available online and it brings you completely through making all types of holiday and special occasion chocolates, including caramels and cream fills and coconut bonbons and turtles and uh, cherry filled, um, uh, peanut filled, uh, it's just a nice variety of chocolates, and this is really designed for a beginner, someone who has little to no experience in making homemade chocolates. Thank you so much for watching. You can find all of our candy making supplies at globalsugarart.com. Have a great day.